now we are going to talk about how we can test uh, a BAPI in SC37. So BAPI is very difficult to test. It has a concept called test sequence. So suppose this is a purchase order and I want to uh, I want to use a BAPI to delete the purchase order. In order to do that what I'm going to do is I will go to the transaction. Let's go, I'll go from scratch. I'll go to transaction SE37. So I'm here at SE37 and this is my function model PAPI POCH. So what I'll do is first I'll execute and I'll create a variant. Okay. So creating a variant is very important for a person who is a developer or a functional consultant so that he doesn't need to enter the same information over and over again. So here what I'm going to do is I'll copy the purchase order number okay and I'll populate here and then here I put the purchase order number and now I click here though there is no find button you can always find by pressing ctrl f here okay so now here where we will put I'll put deletion indicator as x okay and I'll put the green arrow okay now I'll go to the header x and I'll put I'll search for the same deletion indicator and I'll mark it as X okay so this is my variant that I have just created and I'll put the name as uh, test something okay so I put this this is as my name now here what I'm going to do is I'll go to the back button now here this is very important function model you go here execute test sequence so here you build your test sequence so the first the function model that you are going to execute is BAPI PO change and the next one is BAPI transaction commit so this is the sequence that you are going to do and now we are going to execute so before executing I want to show that there is no mark for deletion here okay now I'll just go and execute okay now here I'll go to test data directory and I just created this test 1330 and I'll execute okay so I have executed here so let's see there's some problem here so let's see still contents for the type could not be changed there's an open inbound delivery so that's an error we are getting so let's do one thing we'll just probably now change this and we will try to see whether we can change this one okay 28 so so it gives an error message let's start again so what i'm going to do is i'll just click on execute this is gone we cannot use this now what we are going to do we are going to still go to um we'll go to execute execute test sequence and i'll do get sequence okay and here this is my sequence okay that i created now i'll go and execute okay now here i'll just go to this one and i'll change this number let's see whether i can change the number here i change the number here and i'll change the PO number here also and let's see whether we can change it so 28 let's hope there's no problem here will execute okay so let's see it's executing and I think it gave a message if you see the return the this changed okay now we just click on the back button and this will come as a sequence and we'll execute and we'll hit the back button and we'll see copy okay now if you notice here this was like this now we'll see this is marked for deletion. Now, whether this was marked for deletion or not, you can see document header. You go to environments, document header, and you go to header changes, and you can see this was changed by this, by at this point you got. So this is very important. So again, I'll just reiterate. You have to go here, function model, and go to ex execute, and you put this test sequence and define your test sequence, okay? So BAPI PO change and once you have defined something it will come automatically and then you just put your parameters so this way you know how to test a BAPI.
Okay, this is very important for a functional consultant as well as a technical consultant because you are going to update some standard or custom fields in a BAPI always in every project and at least at least 20 30 times so this is very important and uh, stay tuned to my channel and happy learning